Hello and welcome to the Seafly family. In this video, we're going to show you how to ride with your Seafly remote controller. Our remote controller has an always-on safety lock to prevent accidental engagement of the motor while swimming or climbing on the board. To unlock it, press X and then press F quickly. When unlocked, you will have a 5 second window to engage the motor. If you don't get going, it will lock up again. All of our boards are equipped with an 8 kW direct drive brushless motor with the remote controlling the speed with 20 virtual gears and the fine tuning of the trigger. To shift gears, you simply have to press the plus and minus button to accelerate or decelerate. Squeeze the trigger and start climbing up the gears with the plus button to accelerate. To stop urgently, just let go of the trigger. The EFO battery percentage is displayed in the top right corner of the screen while the remote controller charge is displayed in the top left corner. The solid Bluetooth icon indicates an active connection to the board. If it is blinking, the controller is looking for its board to connect to. There is another signal icon that shows up once the GPS fix of the board is established. The last symbol in the status bar is a letter. E stands for easy riding mode and D stands for dynamic mode. You can see the speed with which you're riding in the central part of the display. Below that, in the next field, you will see your current gear. In the last field, you can scroll between different live riding parameters while foiling. Press the F button while riding to scroll between the screens. At Seafly, we like to focus on details as we believe that they are what enhances the user experience. This is why we have created two riding modes which you can access from the RC menu. In easy mode, the trigger acts as a start-stop button. This is especially designed for beginners who need as little distraction as possible when learning. By activating easy mode, the rider can accelerate and decelerate only through the plus and minus buttons by shifting gears and he gets to focus on controlling the angle of the board with his body weight. In dynamic mode, the trigger can fine-tune the throttle depending on its position. We usually recommend this riding mode for more intermediate riders who already know how to balance the board with their body weight and can use the feature to enhance their ride. To access the different riding modes, go to the menu by holding the plus button for 3 seconds followed by the F button for 3 seconds. Then navigate to easy or dynamic and confirm with F. You will see the option you have selected in the status bar at the top of the screen. E stands for easy mode, D stands for dynamic. For more information on how to handle, ride and maintain your e-foil, Check out the other videos on our channel. Have fun and enjoy the ride.